Welcome back to another episode of the Bouncing Potatoes podcast. That's right, all three of us are back. That is Christian, not Jordan. That is Ethan, and I am Osanda. I actually think this might be our best podcast yet if we all don't have any technical difficulties like this man almost just spit out his water. But I have super duper high hopes. But before this, we're going to go ahead and start with the hot potato of this week, which is Riz being named the word of the year by Oxford University. For those of you don't, who don't know what Riz means, Riz stands for charisma. Well, it was popula- popularized by Kai Sine. I hope I don't mess his name wrong, uh, mess up his name. But um, with Riz, Ethan, please give us your best example of Riz. I don't remember. That's up to you, but you have to. Oh, yeah, I think it was. I think you were just like, you know, changing your voice, you know, talking all sweet to her. Might have been unintentional, Riz. What about you, Christian? When was your best example of Riz? Damn, Ethan is very thirsty today. I don't. I don't have. I don't have any examples of Riz. Uh, Riz does not describe me. <laughs> now, <laughs> I was thirsty. I'm thirsty because I recorded a 22 minute video right before this, so I had a lot. But uh, personally, I don't have Riz. I feel like he was lazy and didn't think of anything. <laughs> Can't think of anything. But where well, I was just... Well, maybe we can think of something for you. Let's see. Hmm. What do you think of Sandra? Christian has automatic risk because of Altolis, So That is true. Yeah. And you're black, see? I don't know. Yesterday, yesterday uh, I was with my friend. We, we, we went uh, camping, and uh, we had to yeah, get some food and stuff. Like stayed overnight? Uh, we, 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 we stayed until the night, but we left at night. <laughs> oh, we cool. wanna... What's the point yeah. of that? Then? That's not camping. Oh, oh you're <laughs> out there. In the, you're out there. In the... They stay in the, in the, like the freezing cold and the, you know, the darkness and stuff. But that's not camping, bro. Camping implies that you're going to be there overnight. Yeah, it's almost camping. It's not. <laughs> it's like when you camp out in the backyard. Even those people who camp out in the backyard, they stay there the whole night. <laughs> That's like a day at the state park, I'd say. Hey, yeah, that's just like a park day. That's not that's not camping. <laughs> in the mountains, yeah, in the, the remote. That, that's a hike, then. You, I mean, oh, no, because we drove up there. That's even worse. I mean, th- there's no way that's camping. That's not. Christian went to a day at the mountain. <laughs> Fine. It was a, it was it was an attempt at camping, which became a day. Uh, it became a day. But what right. the the camp the camp out was set up, everything except the tents and the uh, sleeping bags. We had so a we had a. <laughs> that's the essential. That's the essential stuff for camping. Definitely <laughs> went on a day to the. <laughs> yeah. Who? Why the are you team. lying to us? There, you don't there even was want- a. There was a, there was a, there was a, like a, I don't know what you call it, but like a, a tent over the, over us, just kind of like a, a covering, like a big covering that was connected to the car, but it wasn't like a, a tent that you sleep in. And to that, I mean, that was, that was a very helpful setup that made it feel like camping, if you want to say. I have pictures I can show you guys. Yes, please. I like yes. Okay. Yeah, send it to us later. Um, okay. Honestly, I think I mean people bring those. I, if I, if it's what you're describing, I think I've seen one of those at a tailgate game at a football game. So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So well, I'll, I'll, I mean, is, I don't know about the. What, what were we even talking about? It's not oh, talking, okay, I was saying, I was saying that in order to go, we had we bought food, and we went to the store. My friend was saying everyone was being nice to me and not to him, so. 
for, like they were saying hello to me. So I, I don't know. Maybe that's just an example. Oh, yeah. of I just have Riz. I that's the that. unintentional tall Riz that you got. He said. He said people aren't nice to Asian people. True. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless you're in, surrounded by an Asian community, but even then, the Asians are mean to themselves. So, yeah. Um, I would say my issue is that I have immense riz when it comes to men. So I can riz the hell Wait, out of a man. You were, um, you just said they're, um, hang out or whatever. You said it with people. You get, uh, people listen to you or something. No, the whole thing you texted me. Uh, it went oh, to head. So yeah. So you said it was people, not just men. So it wouldn't be like everybody. Nah, it was just a dude. Like, so okay, so this is what happened. I went to Korean barbecue with my coworkers, and one of the coworkers' boyfriend came along. And there was a point during the barbecue where I went to the well after we were done eating. I went to the bathroom, and then all of them hid from me except the boyfriend. And then I was like talking to the boyfriend, like, "Damn, they just dishes." And they were like, yeah, I think he they, he was telling me, like, yeah, uh, I think they might have went to the bar or something like that. So I don't know where they went. And so I went over to the bar to, like, see if they went in there. But then, l- l- long story short, they hid from me. And then I wasn't upset that they hid from me because I was actually kind of funny. They hid from you? Wait, who? They, yeah, what's up with that? The boy they hid from me that? because I went to the bathroom. So then they acted like they left, which is fine. Like, that, that part was funny. I'm not offended by that. But <laughs> okay. the issue... The issue is that the dude, I could tell right away from the jump, I've heard about this dude before from my coworkers, from my coworkers, coworker, basically, I've heard about this dude before. And then I could tell, like, he was kind of shy, um, but also, like, it was a new space for him because he technically only knew, like, two of the people there, his girlfriend mm-hmm. and another one of the coworkers. Um, so he was kind of shy, though. Like, he was a handsome dude, he was, but he was kind of shy. Um but then I could get the sense that he was trying to, trying to kind of like make fun of me to make himself feel better. I don't know if y'all have been around any like any man who's done that before. Like he's purposely like targeting you because he's insecure, and then he's trying to you know bully you basically to feel better. I don't know if y'all experienced that, but I wasn't having any of that, so I shut that shit down pretty easily. Um, but then by the end of the night. What happened was, bro, out of nowhere, he asked me, do you think I'm an attractive man? Um, or do you think I'm handsome? And mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, you're a good looking dude. Um, and then he's like, really? Because I don't feel that way about myself. I'm like, why? Um, and then he just went on. Like, he used to be a former fat kid, but now he's in way better shape. And then, long story short, I was like, yeah, you got good facial hair. And then, like, 20 minutes later... He legit spent like 10 minutes going through his selfies and showing me his old selfies of him like with no facial hair, him with a little bit of facial hair, him with even more facial hair than he had right now. And so I'm just like thinking in my head, like, what the fuck just happened? You know, like, it's like <laughs> this dude was like low key trying to bully me earlier. And now he's like, open- yeah, now he's like opening up, showing me his photos and everything. I'm like, hey, yo, um. And so, but it's just like, it's so easy to compliment men. At least he was showing you just his facial hair. Yeah, yeah, at least it wasn't down under you, right? <laughs> um, that would have been a little, that would have been even a little weird for me. Um, it's so easy to compliment men because men don't, unless you're Ethan, apparently, men don't get compliments that often. And so when they do get a compliment, they store that shit for like multiple, multiple years. So, like, with me, again, rizzing men is nothing. Because it's just so easy to, like, you can tell easily what they want. Like, not easily, but, like, you can tell what they want to get complimented on. And, like... Oh, Sandra, you have a very nice skin. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, see? That's how easy it is to rizz up a guy. So, but with women, it's a total different story. I went to the gym on Tuesday, and there was this girl on the machine... And she was kind of cute. But I was mad nervous, bro, just working on my machine. I wasn't even trying to talk to her. I was just trying to set up the machine while I was watching the video to see the form. And I was just, like, fumbling the, <laughs> so hard with the machine, right? I wasn't even trying to talk to this girl. And she was, like, just legit working out. And she was, like, taking a rest. And she was, like, looking around. But, like, I was just worried she was looking at me. So, yeah, with women, 
no risk. With men, a lot of risk. Also, bro, let me feel his biceps. That's all because you don't like men. I mean, you know, you're not gay. So exactly. Get, so easy. You don't, you don't get nervous. You know? Exactly. A hundred percent. Basically, if you didn't get nervous with the girl, you, you probably can have the same. You can you can yep. probably have the the words of the riz. Mm -hmm. so get nervous. Mm -hmm. so that makes sense. So that's the thing, y'all. For anyone trying to riz out any women out there who are straight straight men trying to riz out any women, you gotta have confidence. You can't be cocky, but you have to have confidence. Ethan, for example, Ethan has mad confidence, borderline cockiness, but Ethan's got confidence. Oh, yeah. Um, so you know that's why a lot of times Ethan Ethan hits. You know, a lot of uh. A lot of times, like you wouldn't think he would just because of his confidence. Um, so please keep that in perspective. Like uh, Christian, for example, if he was more confident, he could probably land more. Uh, oh, he bro rolled his eyes so back like he had an orgasm. <laughs> Whoa, hey! <laughs> if Christian was a little more confident, so that, that was a that was a I don't like what you're saying thing. You don't think you're you don't think you lack confidence. No, I don't think confidence no, no. is the solution to everything. No, confidence no, yeah. is not the solution to everything. No, you're correct. But like they say in Arthur, you just need to believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, good. I do believe in myself. What was that, Ethan? Uh, see, you're welcome. So if y'all gonna... Oh, sorry. I'm going to interrupt you. If you guys are going to notice something real quick, it's going to be that Christian's going to interrupt Ethan and Ethan's going to interrupt me. That's kind of how this is going to go this entire time. So um, like the way? It's just how we talk. I don't know oh, why, but like when it's just the delay. You see? When it's just you and me. When it's just you. When it's just you and me, you tend to interrupt me. And then when it's all three of us, Christian just I don't know what happens. He just tends to interrupt you. So Ethan, <laughs> Ethan, if you get mad at Christian, you're gonna have to realize you're doing the same shit to me. So. <laughs> Um, so that was, that was Riz. So again, Riz stands for charisma. I thought it was a stupid word, but I gotta say, it's actually a pretty fire word. I definitely like that it got, uh, awarded, uh, word of the year. Next up. To me. Yeah, and then he became a Riz God, you see? And now, next up, we're gonna talk about Christian. Welcome back to the podcast. It's been a long time since they've seen me. Uh, yeah. so go ahead. Do you want to talk about your business idea right now? Because we can get into it, or would you rather not? I don't know if we should have a like a full on debate about it because that would. I think we can we can map out you know three minutes to have this debate right now. Go for it. A Thank debate? Uh, yeah. I think we should only talk about the positives. Nope. See, that's not that's not oh. your like acting like a congressman. <laughs> All right, fine. We'll talk about we'll talk about. We'll talk about the concerns. Um, okay, so first off, this man has loved Seattle for a long time, and out of nowhere, now he year wants and a half. to. It's been. It's only been a year and a half. Yeah, he just moved there. Also, I didn't know he loved. Jordan's been here for my brother. Jordan has been here for uh, three and a half years, but I've been here for a year and a half. Okay, fine. I stand corrected. Have you, have you loved it? Say it again. Have you loved it? I've actually, I've, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I, the, the, the weather is no, just like not it. that bad. And a lot of people think it was, you know, it's like the worst thing ever, but. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You loved I, it. I want to say this because though Sandra was like, and he's loved this thing for, th I'm like, I'm not sure if he's loved it. My bad, my bad. I, yeah. I'm not kidding. Yeah. He hasn't hated it, but he, oh, the way Sandra said it, he was like just over the moon, like, oh my God. <laughs> And yeah, I, said, no, I, mean, but I wasn't sure. I was like, Christian, be like, if you did, did waving the white flag. flag. I'm waving the white yeah. flag. I definitely love yeah. it like that. But so yes, yeah, so Christians enjoyed it, and then, uh, and then, uh, but his social connect is that the official name? I thought it was called something else. Social Central. That's what it is. Oh. Osana wants me to change the name. Now I know you saw. <clears throat> I just I was just looking at your at your message. I was like, I had a commission all day. I was sleeping, but. Um, I saw your message. Yeah, I tell you for camping. <laughs> the camping. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I saw your message and I saw the uh the other uh there's there's organizations with social central as their name. 
I don't think it's going to be a problem that those things have that name because they're not businesses. It's not so, going to be a problem. Are you like, going to try to trademark it? Because you won't be able to yeah. trademark it if it, they have the social sense of trademark. Business or not. And getting the Thanks. username. Usernames are a pretty big deal when it comes to social media. So you have to. So I got, I, I was able to get the domain socialcentralonline.com. Right. Uh, socialcentralonline.com? That's kind of ass. No, well, I, there's like a Microsoft online.com. Like the reason I did it is because um, I think it works because like the whole purpose of it is to be an in person kind of meeting place. So if you have, if it's like social central online, then it's a, it's a contrast to. Social central in person. It's like the, the web. Yeah, actually, oh, sorry, I keep know. talking. It, I'm just gonna yeah, check. It, it's supposed to be, I don't know. I think, I think, I, the point is, I think it doesn't, I think it's not that bad. I've seen other, I've seen several other websites that have online as the last, um, as the last, and it was like recommended to me, like on the, on, on, there's a website called GoDaddy where you can find domain names and search commit domain names. And I even Bob tried Wilson. to see if I could, what, what? <laughs> oh, I thought it was done. I, no, I was looking. I'm not. Okay. This is business. This is business. Yeah, okay. Like so, crazy okay. So, yeah. so I even, yeah, I even went to, to GoDaddy as a service where you can, you can uh, have somebody. Uh... <laughs> oh, now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Hey, Christian. <laughs> Sorry. I want, you're, you're in luck. I'm looking at the trademark and there's some dead trademarks of Social Central, but no live ones yet. So you're Hey, I appreciate there. that. Thanks. What do you mean first off has been you Thanks to you as well. <laughs> anyway, um, it was I was okay, fine cool. until you pointed it out, Ethan. I was in the zone. I was locked in and then you pointed it out. And then this man's like, I went to GoDaddy for a service. All right. And then it just it all went downhill from there. Um, go to a go for a service. Service is to see to see if, if they if a what were you say then? A social connect is trademarked. I uh, so sound to just let you know. I, right. No, I, that is messed up. I I I forgot that. Oh, because well, you I, not that's social what you, connect. Because said you wanted to change it, so I thought that's what the, yeah, the change. No. I send do me, think it, that, it's okay. Oh, the um, trademark. I think it's amazing. Yeah, I think it's amazing. No. <laughs> But yeah, send me, Look, send me the link to that site, Ethan. But anyway, I was gonna say the idea. service on GoDaddy, the the service on GoDaddy is just see if you can buy a domain name, um, from somebody who already has it. So I I bought the service, and the guy was like, oh, it's gonna be like in the five figure range, like at least ten thousand dollars. Like, oh, okay, no, I'll just cancel the service. It was like seventy dollars. Um, but I so I got that refund, and um, so I I at least tried to buy socialcentral.com, but it, it it wasn't gonna work out. So I can I can always buy it later. That's the other thing. Like I, I can always go and um like should the company actually do well, I can. It. I don't think so. Central online is that bad. I think it's I think it's fine. Um, All right. Like I said, I don't think the idea of the business is bad necessarily. I just think the other factors involved and that play. Time out. Time out. Uh, the, the, you guys keep talking about that these people don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, so we should like, probably yeah. <laughs> well, we're, yeah, we're we're we're, we're, we're warming up to talking about what the what the business is even about. Um, but Asanda, so before I get into it, Asanda has a concern that um, I've had some some health issues of the mental kind this year, and I've had been on um, various medications, and I'm on one that works at the moment. But Asanda's concern is always oh, is if I were to um, start this business and be off the health insurance, am I current employer uh, gives me, would I still be able to uh, afford the medication that I'm taking? And would I be able to, um, uh, I don't know, afford the monthly premiums for the insurance? Um, and that's something I've looked into. I We just talked about it yesterday. And I'll be calling people tomorrow once they open it about it, but I've already looked at uh, a few different uh, sites, they're, what they're providing. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll we'll talk about it more, but um, I'll get changed some answers some answers soon. Um, there's, the, uh, there's the what do we call it the Medicaid, you know, the California free thing offer that. Did you talk about co covered California or, or? Yeah, that that too. Yeah, that that's that's one of the ones I'm gonna look into. <clears throat> um, oh. And they have they have covered California for small businesses too. Um, Ooh, so. Cool. 
I'm sure there's like a discounted rate and you can you can probably spread it to your employees if you want to and all that. I have to have employees for the first I don't know see any employees unless someone wants to be an employee, but <laughs> but yeah. Oh, for the son. first like few months. I was about to get laid off. So just kidding, he's not. He's yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah so, okay so i should i should i should probably should probably mention what the business is what the business does so basically social central is is meant to be a, a meeting place for citizens of america or any other country eventually where um they can um uh, Make social connections um, where we inspire catalyst and um, a catalyst for for make for them making those social connections through the services that we provide. The services are um, well, for one, we provide. Um, uh, I'm stopping like, right. Like, there. I'm stopping right there. Okay. okay. Social central. All right. It's basically just going to be a place where individuals can connect with each other better. Indi random people connecting with random people. That's it. Think of it That's like it. a social media thing, but in person. Exactly. There we go. Christian, you are definitely going to have to work on your elevator pitch because the elevator will already be done by the time you... you, you... <laughs> well, I mean, we, we, have like a, we have an hour and a half podcast, so I was thinking this would be more than just an elevator pitch. Um, <laughs> yes, but we want to keep things rolling, man. And plus, yeah, I don't want I guess you to... So. I don't want you to give too much away because I don't want anyone to potentially steal the idea. So yeah, that's true. Okay, <laughs> all right, yeah. Jesus. Can so I anyway, all right. Make your logo. I have a logo. Can I make your? Logo? Oh yeah, I mean, I was I I I made one on um. Well, yeah, you can you can try to make a logo. I, uh... Good, because I've become an expert on Canva thumbnails. So I want to take a stab at logo. I made my own. Okay. Logo. Too. all right sure yeah um yeah canva i i got to canva and that, that one's that one's good i think i'll probably use it for um t-shirts i think is i'm not i'm not like trying to make a whole lot of money on merchandise but what um, it's actually like that's that's when they're gonna be when i Oh, no, no, he, he's not trying to make a lot of money off merchandise he is trying to make a lot of money off the business itself yeah Merchandise. Yeah. That's the easiest way. It's much better than monthly mem come on, merchandise is much cheaper than a monthly membership. Why don't we all try to make money on merchandise? Oh. Sure, that'd be like thirty dollars, oh wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, but, um, I don't believe you. <laughs> Look, here's here's what I wanna say. Um unfortunately Christian has Re triggered the business side in me, which I He's had not Jewish, but it's okay. Yeah. We'll get you Jewish side. <laughs> yeah. Christian has re triggered the business side in me, unfortunately, which I kinda killed a couple years ago, so I could focus on the whole nine to five struggle. Um <laughs> so unfortunately, it's actually a really good idea for the most part, and it's one that I am very intrigued oh, I in and I <laughs> I keep saying unfortunate because again I had resigned myself to not being an entrepreneur and I'm now this to do both. Well, actually, that's the thing that we're not talking about. Christian plans on quitting his job to pursue this. No, sorry, Osanda. You you can open up your business side while still working at a job. You can uh, think about I you, you said yeah. you retired it. You don't have to retire it. You can yeah. Have it and still work. This is true. I can be a so you know. Like, if you want to, you, know, you want to give some advice or help Christian, you don't have to. Like, oh, unfortunately, I have to open my business side again. Oh God, it's not. That's not how I mean it. I mean it like it's a really good idea, but it sparked that side of me that laid dormant for a bit. You know, when I started my clothing brand. So if we're really gonna talk about, you want to do. What you you wanted it, you wanted to do it full time, but you but you didn't because you realized I don't know because for whatever reason you you decided that you wanted to do the job instead. Is that correct? Yeah, kind of. I mean, with the clothes, like again, I can literally help you with every single aspect of this business, especially the credit card. I yeah, like 
the financial aspect of this, planning the business out, because like, again, even your health insurance, you didn't have the idea of getting the small business health insurance until I told you. And no, it's not true. No, no, it's not true. Oh, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Lo, lo siento. My apologies. My apologies. I'm taking credit when credit was not. It was the first thing I thought of. It was the first thing I thought of. Really? Yes. Okay. All right, fine. So, also, when I say unfortunately, I mean unfortunately, because uh, the conversation that this happened, I was pulling an all-nighter, all right? This man called me, and I didn't <laughs> oh, go to that bed. So funny. I saw I didn't... And of all yeah. The <laughs> yeah. I've been wanting to talk to him for like three weeks, and then he's never wanted to call me. Then at 6 a.m., he's like, oh, now I'm free to call you. And this was after <laughs> Korean barbecue and everything. Yeah. You didn't tell me you wanted to call. We could have called any time, any time that it wasn't in the hospital. I didn't want to call you because I didn't want to force myself on you. I was waiting until you were ready. Well, you didn't tell me that, so I didn't I, know. I, so I did. I, I literally well, told I, you. I, I didn't know we can call you in the hospital. Yeah, you can call me in the hospital. I guess you can, but um. I have to probably contact my parents or something. They have my number. Okay. But anyway. So anyway, so again, it's a good idea. It shows promise. Um, but there's so many other factors to this. Whereas, and I, I asked Ethan, uh, like Ethan wasn't prepared for it, but like I asked Ethan like seven rapid fire questions too. Um, he did, and I'll get back to those. <laughs> uh, so because well, Ethan I'm made the mistake. Was living, but... Yeah. <laughs> Ethan made a mistake. He's like, what questions do you have? And then I was like, boom. Oh, no, I was generally curious. But I was like, whoa, that's a lot of them. What's your rapid fire questions? I don't know when you asked them, but I think I was a little tired. What did you ask my night time? Did you ask last night? I asked them when you were at Six Flags. Oh, yes, that's right. And then I was so tired of this. But I have to get back to those questions. So these are the questions, all right? Oh, would, questions. would Ethan and his girlfriend, also Christian, keep in mind to say girlfriend. Don't say Ethan's girlfriend's name. Ethan makes that mistake all the time. Uh, okay. So, would Ethan and his girlfriend consider living with us? You know, me and you. Um, would all four of you want to share? Would all three of you plus me oh, want to share? Fine. Two of the questions. I need other people the the answers first before I can even answer them. But the other ones I got, like the dad question and the uh, my girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> so these are questions for Ethan. None of these are questions for like me or Ethan. Well, y'all wanted to hear the questions, remember? I just wanted to hear if there, if you had questions for me, then I wanted to hear what they were and see if I oh. could answer them like right here. No, I mean, you know, one of the questions was, how is your mom not panicking about the idea? Um, and then I asked Ethan if he thought it was a good idea. That is a very Ethan question. Ethan could easily answer that one. Oh, yeah. I can the Which one? But see, oh, that's one. I was confused. The good idea of what? The business or the all the other moving in? All, everything. Him moving back to the valley to do the oh. business. Oh, no, no. Oh, see, yeah, I like that part. As I told Diane yesterday, my aunt Diana, I was like, man, anything that gets you back down here. Because, you know, she also is moving back to it. So, you know, so I was like, oh, shit. anything that gets you back down here. <laughs> um, after my cousin gra our cousin graduates next year. So I'm like, yes. Um, but, um, so, yeah, anything good cushion back down here. Because, <laughs> boy, oh, boy. That's pretty nice. That's but, true, because hey, I'm a different person. Like, I like new business opportunities. I like money, and I like doing my own thing. Yeah, I great. Support. I fully support. All right, so he's he's I appreciate, more. I appreciate it, Ethan. I appreciate I appreciate the support. I'm in questions. So, um, I'm down. I have to add other people. I'm not sure, but I'm sure my girlfriend's down. We can talk. We can talk about it more after the podcast. But that's definitely something I do want to talk about is moving in because that's uh, right, that's so that's a good, that's be a good possibility. And the, the dad thing with the house, I have no idea. <laughs> but the the business part, love it. So Great. moving on, I haven't talk... even I haven't even described the full thing, Eden. Like I haven't even showed him all my documents and everything. Like he's he's, he's already gonna... supporting it. He's not going to look at them anyway. You can show it to him, but he's not going to look at them. Excuse me. I looked at the handwritten he looked documents at my... when we were playing um, cards in the hotel. I took time to read every page. Yes. Those yeah. handwritten ideas. All right. So. That's, yeah. In person, you'll look at anything. But if he sends it to you online, you're uh, not going to. 
I will look at it if it's a business opportunity because I like money and like business. I literally showed you something about thumbnails. Did you watch that then? That has nothing to do with business. That's a thumbnail. You're not. If you was it for your own business? It, it was the thumbnail for your business theme park wizard, so that you could improve your thumbnails. Yeah, but I'm talking about you. Like, see, this that's different. This is a new idea. Okay, all right, fine. I'm gonna have. I'm gonna come up with a new idea just to see if you actually. <laughs> I'll, 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 if you send me some about Liberian finance, I'd be like, all right, all right, all right. Got so, on? moving I'm on. Like, this... like, oh my god, Osana's starting his YouTube channel for for once. Yay! I'd be so happy. I'd read anything you send. All right. Well, I appreciate that. Um, let's move back to Ethan. So, Ethan, please oh, tell wait, us. We're done about... with Christian. We're done with Christian. We're moving on. We got. Well, we got. I have so many questions. All right, fine. What are your questions? Oh man, now I feel like I'm put on the spot. But I, I, I lost them. But I, you know yeah, what? No, fine. It, it happens to me. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> fine. <laughs> that that trust me, dude. When I'm at, when, when I was at work, that happened. That happened all the time. Like, um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, I'd be like, oh yeah, I, I go back to somebody, ask questions about what I was just doing, and I'd be like, uh. Yeah. Reading I have no idea. Um, oh yes, that's a, oh yeah. No, hold on. Okay, I got the question. Thank you, bro. Let's see. Uh, what did it say? It said, but the mofo plans on moving back to the valley. So okay, so not Orange County, but the valley. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, because I originally was saying Orange County, um, because that's where that's where they there's like if you look on the map of available properties, there's like <laughs> there's like five times as many properties available in Orange County as there are in in, in the valley. Um. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's just it's just an area where there's like there's a lot of there's a lot of homes <clears throat> with like a high value, and uh, you're not gonna find the people that you want with those homes that are in a high value. Okay, but, not okay. okay I'm not talking like 1.5 and over a million. I'm just talking about like seven hundred thousand dollars. Okay, that's not okay. I said high value. I shouldn't say high value. I should say. Because I look at the median, I look at the this charts of like the median home value, and it's always like around seven hundred thousand dollars. If you go to well, what does that have to do with the business, though? Is my question. Well, if you, if you have if you have a lot of homes with the, with a decent income, and it's people in their late twenties and thirties and early like early late thirties, then that's uh, the average age of these these homes is like thirty eight, thirty nine. Um, and that and these areas is thirty thirty nine. That tells you that half people are below, half people are above. That's actually that's actually consistent with the value too, but um, I'm, gonna inter I'm gonna interject right now. I feel like what? your demo your your demographic should be more so like college kids, if anything, dog. People that's who right are yeah, younger yeah. people. So yeah, yeah, college kids are definitely a part of it, but I'm just saying that the majority of the base is is going to be like twenty, like above college age up until like forty. Um, I don't know about that. One. Up, we, we, up, we, we, up until thirty nine. I got, I got, I got disagree with you hard on that one, bro. Like, yeah, I imagine the, the thing. The thing, the thing about it is that, <clears throat> like, there's only so many colleges around. Like, no matter where you are, I mean, like, if you're, you think, if you're in Orange County, there's more colleges around than there are in the Valley. Um, but um, even in Orange County, it, it's I got you know I check the distances to the to the to like different locations from the different colleges over there. It's like you, you can get a you can get a good amount of of uh, people, but I don't know. I just think that I also think just fundamentally colleges have their own social, you know, uh, networks already. And like you have so many ways of connecting in a college that I don't think a, a person's primary goal in college would be to go outside of university to find people because they try to find people in university and stuff like that but uh, like if there were events that that were tailored to two specific colleges and got a whole bunch of them there maybe that works but um but yeah i don't think you're having them as a primary goal no, no, what no, no, no. you're thinking you way too go, small bro you should go to the college exactly you should be getting this 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 the hubs on the college campus itself yeah, it this be would like, be an opportunity yeah. or something, yes right? exactly yeah, yeah, i can't have, hear ethan i can't hear ethan it would be like a little a social central booth in CSUN, you know, now like little events and there's something, yeah. You know, get some sign ups, you know. Exactly. You can have out of state people find like each other through that 
And also the fact that it's not a drinking based social gathering would definitely help because not everyone in college is going to drink. Um, so you're thinking way, way too small. I'm not saying that the demographic that you are thinking of is a bad idea. It's just, it shouldn't be the number one demographic. Like, you can have, because your goal is to franchise this, so you can have multiple franchises targeting different demographics. But colleges would be where it's at, bro. Especially if you could get on every single college campus. You, and you can't say, oh, there's only so many colleges around. That doesn't make any sense. Again, colleges would be even better than malls. Because with colleges, you're already going to have the food built in. Uh, malls. You're right? saying you want locations on college campuses. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like here. That, that, that's 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 fine. But I'm just saying for the first location, I can't, I can't, um, I can't, I can't bank on having colleges as the. I, I don't think I can bank as the, having them as the main demographic. I just don't think that's. Um, you're right. That's fine. But you're targeting. Way, you're targeting a way too old demographic who's not going to be interested in going to this stuff. Not 20, at, 22 to 39. I don't think so. I think that's exactly the way I should be talking. I think 20s, yes, 30s, you're wild. I don't see the, the 30 year olds. When you go to meetup, when you go to meetup.com, you mostly see 30 year olds because they don't have, I don't know, because they, they they are probably even less. Like, if you, and if you look at trends of like how many friends people have, how often they socialize, like usually it drops off at 30 because of the kids and stuff like that. Um, and and people lose touch with their friends. That that's what I've that's what I've read into, and it makes sense to me because my experience with meetup.com dot com is typically it's typically the average age is like thirty one. And that and if you go to if you go to meetup dot com simply because you don't have like a, a a friend base, you're looking to meet new friends. And so if people are looking to meet new friends at thirty, um, I think it's be a great opportunity for them. Um, I'm not saying okay. I'm, I'm saying I think 20s would be be more, but I think 30s is 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 significant. Like even if, even if people have kids, like still they cover the opportunity to meet new people. Like I, I totally, I think that's perfect. I'm I'm not disregarding colleges, but um, yeah, that to start with, like people driving to a place um that they heard about like online. Um, or maybe you know, like eventually through through a friend or something, like driving to a place and spending twenty five dollars a day. Like I imagine that that you know, and to meet to be make new connections. I imagine that to be um, people in their thirties just as much as people in their twenties. So yeah, that's all I got. Fine, I stand corrected. I would go up to thirty five. Thirty nine is too high. I feel like that's fine. Twenties to thirty five. All right, but 39, I don't know about that. Um, you also, meetup.com, what's, they don't, I'm guessing they don't have a physical space? Physical spaces. All right. Yeah, I, um, and I, and I can t- I can talk a lot about meetup.com because I spent, I spent time doing meetup.com. Um, I know what then, the issues, you know, well, yeah, um, I, I, won't, I won't talk at length, but I'll just say, the number the the types of meetups are very limited. You got drinking, most like sixty percent of them are drinking meetups, and and that and it's fine, but oh, there, there, there's, there's no and there's no there's no like there's no like uh, push to to meet to meet others. You kind of have to you kind of have to go do it. And that's why people get drunk because they want they want help getting they want help socializing, right? I want to be like, oh yeah, I'm social now, so I, yeah, I'm drunk and I'm social. So, I think um, instead having having um, kind of just forcing people, <laughs> forcing people to to connect with other to connect with random people is the best way to go. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll see. Um, All right. How about you create your own app? Yeah, the app is something I'm working on now. I'm going to talk to the guy who's doing the website tomorrow because they can do the app too, but I don't know for how much and the time scale is. Why are you talking to someone to do a website or an app when you could just talk to your brother? I'm sure you know enough coding to figure it out too. Why not just do it? I don't think so. It uh, it would take a long time because the features I'm trying to put in there, it, it would take a long time. Okay, 
fine. Yeah. You, okay. I, I hope you. I hope. Have you started like you know? Have you been keeping track of these expenses? Because you understand that this is going to go towards your taxes now. I've right? only spent. I've only spent five hundred and five hundred seventy dollars so far. Okay, rich boy. That's a lot of money. You need to be tracking these expenses so that you can it's write. Too, it's two expenses. It's two expenses. But are you tracking it regardless of how yes. many? Okay. Yes, I'm tracking it. Gates and everything you like that. You have no faith in me. What is this? You think I'm like, an am I'm, I'm, of course I'm an amateur. You think I'm like stupid or something. I do think you're I an know, amateur. I don't know how to track my expenses. Like, you know. I'm a I, see, I, I think I'm just going to spend all my money and buy a bunch of stuff and not remember what I spent it on. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Okay, this this is coming from the same man who didn't realize he needed to buy a ticket to get into Universal Studios. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yes, Christian, I am a strict business partner. Hate to break it to you, but I am very thorough and I ask a lot of questions. But if I'm wrong, I will admit I'm wrong. I was wrong with the demographics. You proved me correct. And I admitted it, right? Okay. Yeah. So okay. you just need a different perspective because if you just get the perspective of a yes man, you're not going to succeed. You need someone who's combative. I, 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 I get 100%, but I think a lot of your 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 issues are in, are just, just unfounded. And what are your issues, think... though, Sand? My number one issue is the fact that this man is going to quit his job that pays for his health insurance that covers the medication that he needs for his mental health. That's worried about the medication. Name. He's worried about the health insurance. So I'm going to take care of that issue tomorrow uh, and the That's next day. And I can't say promise it happens tomorrow, but I can promise I'll start on it tomorrow. Well, I've already started on it. But I'll call people tomorrow, call people the next day, see what happens. Um, and I'll get you some answers on the health insurance. But I, I'm not super concerned about it. Um, it's best to be because there's, there's just this one uh, huge discount that you can get. Um, I can. Sh I should send you the link already, but I'll send you. I'll send you it right now. I'll send you the right. link to this thing. Number two, I have gone down this path before and started a business or done a side hustle by quitting my job, and that was a mistake. I again, I have lived that experience. I quit my first job so that I could do, uh, so I could day trade penny stocks, and that didn't turn out so well for me. Day so trading penny stocks isn't the same. It's not like. That's now, like a now, very, I very remember, risky way to go. I remember you, your mom had an interesting question when I was at the table. She said, she said, uh, you know, when you quit your job, how, how would you pay for your expense? Not like health, but like, you know, electricity and water, like when you move or something. Calculated it all. How much of it, how much of it, how much, how much I'm going to be paying up until the moment I start the business, and then how much I'm going to be paying, paying every month after that. I mean, that's on the scene. It. I don't know if you. I don't know if you looked at it, but it was in the document. No, but um, I mean in the uh, in the uh, like your apartment. You know, if you move to the valley. Or, he's like, saying that his I, savings. Yeah, yeah. He, that's the thing. He's saying that his savings will pay for all that stuff, and then the business will fund his monthly living expenses, which is again why I'm saying alone. doesn't. See, now this is again the issue. You are relying on a loan to fund your uh, monthly living expenses, which is mad risky, bro, because you're going to oh. be using the fund. I mean, I'm not using it to fund my monthly expenses. I'm using it to fund whatever I need to fund. You might as well say I'm using the loan to fund the business and I'm using my personal savings to fund my personal life. But it doesn't really matter which way it goes. It just matters that if I'm starting the business, I need as much capital as possible to buy, specifically to buy, buy a good enough property as possible. Like, because that the property expense is a huge thing. Um, the, the better the property, the more money I'm taking in um, huge, in a huge way. I think that's like, the, might be the biggest factor for how much money I'm making. Outside of Fine. brings the service, so okay. the reason I'm getting the loan is is because I need I need to buy a better property because I could I could I could go without the loan and buy a property that's like half as expensive and go for twice as long, but that that's just not it's just not going to be conducive to a good outcome. What do you mean you're buying a property? I thought you were going to rent. Not buying, renting a property. What renting oh, a property? Okay. Yeah, I know. Um, okay, it's specific, but whatever. Well, yeah, yes, actually, because there's a very vast difference between those two. Yes, um, I'm aware, I'm aware. 
But the thing is, so your uh, savings calculation for your monthly living expenses, did you already factor into the co the cost of the loan itself? You mean like the monthly cost? Yeah. No, um, and I, I didn't do that. I didn't. I didn't do that because I didn't because I wasn't there yet. Um, because I, I wasn't. I didn't get to the monthly because I didn't. I didn't. You know, um, talk to people about what the monthly expenses for it were. So that's something I'm still like gonna put in there. Um, okay. But it'd be, it'd be, but I, I did, but I did, get, I get, got one estimate that would be about six hundred dollars. Okay. Um, cool. Six hundred dollars. All right. So six hundred dollars yeah. a month, starting from when and I got the loan. How much loan gonna be for again? Forty thousand, you said, or twenty seven thousand? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that, about. That's, right. That would be that. That's about eleven, eleven and a half months of uh, engineering job. Uh, salary, salary, not salary, but money left over after I've spent every every bit of my other money on, uh, you know, life expenses based on based on my based on my um my my expenditures last year at this time well this time last year when I was you know stable had a job and I was just spending money like that's like. Um, yeah, with that that amount of expenditures, I'd have eleven to be eleven months to pay back the, the loan. So, yeah, um, but it'd be it'd to pay back the loan. yeah. It's a one year loan. No, 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 no. That, I'm saying that that's how much it would take. That's how long it would take me with the money I was getting from an engineering okay. job. Uh, but with the with the with the business, it'd be I think it would be shorter than that. Um, mm -hmm. It wouldn't have to be shorter than that, but all right, we'll see. Because again, yeah. This is, this is so tricky because I could if you do move back to the valley and you open up it up in a local place, I can help with literally again all aspects of this the personal loan side or the loan side because I'm on my fourth personal loan. So with the credit card side, I can help with that and just overall the merch side. I know roughly the same amount as Ethan, if not more, because I actually did work with manufacturing and everything too. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah. We will see. Um, but it all comes down to the number one question that I had, really. So as long as you get proof of that, then we'll see. But it's still mad risky to quit a stable job, especially in this economy, and start a new business. And the only thing I'm saying is you should have a job and also do this one, even if it's like maybe a part-time job. But then your argument is going to be that the part-time job is going to eat up all the hours and it's going to take away from the focus that I would have. But what if it's a, a remote job? Uh, I, I probably wouldn't have enough time in the day. Um, is yeah. the business supposed to be open 48 hours? 40 no, but I mean, why you're worried? Why you're starting up? Why you're, why you're it, before I before I started, yeah, like you know, yeah, yeah like uh, you know, like as you're preparing for. He's not gonna. He's not uh, gonna. Do, there's there's it's more gonna complications be, too. It's gonna take up time. Look, we I've been down this road before. It's like talking to a younger me at this point. I can see it all. Um, and Christian, you're gonna argue that my penny stocks is riskier than your business idea. I gotta disagree with you, bro. It was just about the same level of risk, my guy. Um, because the same arguments that you're making right now are the same arguments that I was making, and the There's same. There's more to the fact that I don't want to get the job. It's because I'm I'm currently on medical leave from my my uh, like a second job. Then that would be kind of sketchy. That's true. Fine. Again, Please. I stand corrected. Pledgy. No, oh no, no. I meant like so you I meant like so you, I meant like you quit and then you move here and, and then that's why I meant like I He's gonna quit in like April or May and he's gonna move here April or May. It's gonna be like it's gonna be mad consecutive. He's not gonna take any time off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So he, that's what I'm saying, so when he moves here, obviously he won't have a business running. That's what I'm saying. A remote thing when you move here. But, I think though he wants the business running right from the jump. When he, as soon as he comes here, he wants to like literally the next day he wants to show up into the store and like, hey guys, I'm Christian. Okay. Welcome I'm to Social saying, Connect. What if the timeline doesn't match up? Well, never mind. <laughs> if the timeline doesn't match up, 
He's just not gonna do okay, it. The timeline. The timeline is I probably move in uh, sometime between April first and April fifteenth, and the business would start May first. I could even yeah, business would start May first. I would secure the apartment like in March. Um, Damn! Now you're moving too fast for us. We ain't even gonna be ready by March. So I'm gonna let you know that right now. We we worried about getting laid off, buddy. We wouldn't be ready until April at the earliest. Mm-hmm. April first would be when we would be ready. Okay, here's the question: How are you, how are you so sure you'll be ready to go in four months? He's Christian. Um, I can't say for sure that I will be, but I I just feel like in in a in a few yeah. weeks. Yeah, like a I, don't know, like I guess like a business plan or something. Like he does oh, have a business plan. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's... yeah, I I have I have I have, I've, I have I have the the company structure written out, like the the fi- like the financing structure and the um so the service off. structure that I have so far written out. Um, so what and I have all... I have a list of I've li- I have a list that I'm working on of of like all my to dos. I should probably do. I should probably <laughs> your your question of how long it'll take exactly to uh to uh what are you laughing? I didn't get that. I have a list of all my to dos. It's a to do list. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Why is it? Why is it like even the thing? Okay. Anyway, anyway, I should probably. I should probably make uh, to answer your question more thoroughly. I should probably have a a solid to do list just so I can give people an idea of how long it's going to take me to do everything. But um, I I can give myself more time if I need it. Um, but at this point right now like the the only thing that i foresee taking four months is is the website the app if 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 i so choose to do both of those um and is okay. because so everything is- else is really it's really just a matter of how much time i want to put into it outside of um securing the loan uh securing the property and um they're fine that I have all the that I have all the inventory that I need to start the business officially. Outside of those three things, um, I don't think there's anything that's going to take me uh, uh, a, a spe- specified amount of time. Everything else is just how much time I want to put into it, like adding new services to the business. Like that's that's just something I'm going to be brainstorming on consistently. Maybe you, you guys can help me with that if you'd like. Um, but, uh, but yeah, in terms of um, so what how, what's going to what's going like? to yeah, well, in terms of what's going to take uh, more time, it's really just those few things. Um, everything yeah, else so is, you're yeah. Here I mean, and then you're going, and then day one, you said business starts. What does that look like? You're going to no, it would be about it would be about a month. Because um, oh. yeah, so like I said, like I'd be it, like ideally, I move in April first, and um, business yeah. the business the property is the property is uh, the property is available May first. And then it, it could be May fifteenth, could even be June, but ideally it's May first. Properties available, and then, um, and then, uh, and then I then I move things in by after the time, as, by as, the time as we the Properties open. Like, what's your goal? Do you want to already have people signed up, or is it, or yeah, I, ideally, yeah. I mean, I start the advertising. I can't start the advertising now because I don't have a website. The website. Bullshit. Uh, uh, advertising without the website. Well, I can, I can, I excuse me, I can start it, but I don't think it's ideal to start it now because what am I going to send them to? I, I just say oh, social central. You can, send them to a, you can send them to a Facebook group. You can send them to a waitlist. Yeah, I can do an. Email I think it's. Subscription you guys don't think it's. Uh, you don't think it's a, a significant like loss of money to send people to something other than the website. I can have the website up a month and a half before before the company starts. And then I can do the advertising then, and then people are, you know, it's not like five months before the company starts, and, and it, it'd no, be more fresh in their minds that, that the company's the company no, exists. You send them to a, you gather people up several months before you send them to a Facebook group or something, right? Then you don't, then you just don't leave them there for five months. You send them little updates, little teasers, little Easter eggs, little fun stuff every so often to keep them engaged. Then I said, "All right, guys, the countdown's officially starting. We have a month left to launch." Boom! Exactly. Then they start spreading their word. You know, exactly. so you start. You know, start several months before. Get a little group going. 
It could be, a, oh, if you even want to be a Patreon, or it can be whatever, whatever type of something free thing that you can add people to. And then they give them little teasers, and then, like, when you have your logo, be like, there it is, you guys are the first to see the logo. Pshoo, reveal! And boom! Then you launch your social media pages, and, you know, you know it's like a little build-up, and bam! We're open, yeah? Yeah, you laid the groundwork right now. You build the bricks right now so that you have the house ready to go by that time. This During these months and everything like that, you could start building up your social media following. And literally, you're complicating this website way too much, bro. You just need one page and you just need a waiting list that says social um, connect. What is it again? Social Central, how are you forgetting that? It's, <laughs> social, it's like the tattoos. Social, social Central, coming soon. Waitlist, enter your thing right here to get a discount when we do open. Yeah. You know, there's, literally, it's just a one-page website, and you can redirect that website. I mean, that website, it doesn't even need to be socialcentralonline.com. It could just be social central, um underscore, mm-hmm. something like that. Like, it's a very simple website, Christian. Literally, would cost you about, like, seven bucks a month i believe um and then and you can go ahead and write the uh, description of what your thing is going to be about <laughs> then you yeah okay like, hey. you can be like hey if you refer somebody you get another discount or something and then they refer somebody and tell their friend and they join the group and then your group gets real big and then boom launched it the referral aspect is going to be a little expensive because I, I know because I did have a referral aspect on my um clothing store website. So I do know that that service would be a little expensive. But I mean, it is a possibility. Well, I mean, but it doesn't have to be like, like literally like, hey, if you refer someone, it doesn't have to be like special park out or something. Like, yeah. Uh, like, like, okay. And to refer as an age, just get someone else to follow. Boom, yeah. and then boom, boom. Then, you know, maybe get like a, I don't know, something. I don't know. It doesn't have to be pricey thing. Maybe it's just something. Something to encourage. A shout out. I don't know. Something. I got you. I got Facebook. you. Yeah, no, I, I, I get it. Uh, yeah, okay. What, what, do you, what, are you guys thinking, what are you guys thinking in terms of advertising dollars to be spent before Nothing. Before March. None. Before March. Nothing. I'm telling no you. Advertising okay, so, dollars. okay, so I think we agree. I think we agree in, then. You have yeah, no, no Asanda. Asanda, that's, that's what we agree on then. That's what we agree mm-hmm. on because that's, I was yeah. I was saying you can, you can I didn't want to start the advertising I didn't want to start no, like spending can, money on advertising until advertise, March. Advertising yeah. means spending money. I mean, average you can advertise right now. If you want? Yeah, I mean, you, have yeah. you have time. Yeah, time. Probably that's fine. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's fine. That's something I was already gonna be plan on doing. Hundred yeah. percent. I mean, not like immediately, immediately. I'm trying to do other things, but, but see, that's something I was yeah, already gonna so do. But that like that fills me advertising per se it's, it's just not I don't spending money you don't have to spend money to advertise you can really advertise it via building a social media following and encouraging others to follow and and you know and then you can but like use canva right make cool posters on canva to put some catchy catchphrases on there you know catchy catchphrases oh you know, whatever <laughs> <laughs> some catchphrases on there and and try, I think catchy try, catchphrases and, is a good way to and, say and, Catching catchphrases is correct. It's just funny. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you can make up, I don't know, you can, you should have like, I don't know, I don't know if your thing has a mascot or something, but I don't know, something, if you associate someone like, I don't know, speaking of Universal Orlando, right? They have Earl the Squirrel, that's their mascot for the holidays. So everyone has, no, to associate someone with Earl the Squirrel and, you know, but, and like, Social media, where it's free, right? It's Universal Orlando 2020 on the open a new roller coaster, right? And it was clearly being built. They didn't announce it yet, so they said it's a churro cart, and everyone ran with it. Like, it's a churro cart to the point of when it opened, they gave up one free churros. It was a cool little social media campaign, but it was totally free. So, so you can do that with for free until you uh, launch and get a nice following. All right. Sounds good to me. I'll work on that. Great. Right, so now, like now, now that we uh, know, you know help. laid out this entire plan, I definitely feel like we should be some equity, you know, partners in this. Uh, I definitely ten <laughs> uh, percent, a solid ten percent for all that. Wow, that sounds. Uh, 
<laughs> quite a lot. You know what? You quite know, a lot, dude. You know what? You're right. I'll lower it to seven percent each. I think there needs to be a uh, a deal made for a good percentage uh, starting. Now, Christian, do you have a? You said you have a budget, right? Do you have an advertising budget or uh, budget? Yeah, you know, like uh, your business budget. Uh, yeah, sure it's it's I'm anywhere between five, it's anywhere between five hundred to a thousand before it launches, and then five hundred a month before like as it's starting. I'm sure I was trying to talk about the LLC stuff. Uh, yep. And how much that costs. I, I looked into that before, and I, I kind of, uh, it was like years ago, looking into differences, but as far as I can tell, I need an LLC. That's that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Which so means you're going to have to open. I just told you how much it costs and stuff. For, that I haven't told you. I, I, that's something I still need to look into. Because um, it's at least like 700 bucks, but then like another like 700. So it would be like over 1,000. To, at least to do it and that's when i looked into it it seemed there's like multiple compounding costs at least in this so, you know, there's a, something to you're gonna listen. need like insurance and everything in case someone gets hurt at your place you know then yes, yeah that's so that is woo, we can ask my dad about that that's very yeah. liability insurance to be more exact yeah yeah mm-hmm. so yeah, and, I saw and, that. And then, well, actually, yeah, no, because you're renting the building, so it's okay. We'll say you're buying it. You need some buy, fire and all that good stuff. But you're renting. It's okay. Let's see what else. Let's see. Um, LLC. Let's see what else. Was... Oh, yes. Oh, the trademark. That's right. The trademark uh, will be a uh, six hundred bucks. Thirty bucks. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Six hundred bucks. I'll add those. Yeah, six hundred. Yeah, six hundred. <laughs> Six hundred. What do you what do you thought I said? I swear I heard him say thirty dollars. <laughs> Six hundred. So while he's doing that, Ethan, tell us about how you thought you might be gay. Oh my god. Okay, so for for um for uh what should we call it? Last week or no, just like last week and a half. Boy, I had this empty feeling inside me. I'm like, oh my gosh, why is it so empty? Turns out I got rid of a lot of my anxiety temporarily, so that was nice. But <laughs> I had this empty feeling. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I, I got really confused. I was like, oh God, I don't feel, I, I don't feel love. Like, I know love, but I don't feel love. I don't feel anything. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, am I gay? <laughs> I hope I'm not gay. I love gay. It's going to sound really wrong. But turns out I was with my girlfriend and I was like, I still love her very much. So I was like, oh, that's good. I even talked to my therapist. I'm like, you know, I'm worried. I was like, I told her the same thing. And she, and also, she had the same reaction you had. She busted out laughing like you. <laughs> Which was hilarious. I was like, oh my God, my best friend had the same reaction. <laughs> you, didn't tell her, you just didn't tell her that Osanda had the same reaction? You said my best friend? Oh, you're, yeah. th- you, you're talking about your therapist. Yeah. Um, like, oh, oh, oh okay. So it's like, <laughs> that was funny. Um, but yes, luckily, I, I'm not lucky. Again, I love her. But <laughs> not um, I mean, see, because I was worried because, you know, some of these people, you know, that have been marriages for 20 years, right? They say, I'm come out and gay. But now my therapist <laughs> reassured me or told me that a lot, of, <laughs> a lot of those times it's because, you know, they, um, like, I get what say, it's men. They didn't feel comfortable, uh, or they felt like they couldn't come out earlier in life because they bad parents or, you know, whatever. Bad situation. So I was like, oh, that makes sense. And, uh, yeah. And then, uh, Yeah, so just to uh, clarify, y'all, Ethan literally called me on his way back, I think, from hanging out with someone. And it was, yeah. um, I think it was, so it was so December like, 6th and 9th. Yeah. So it was Wednesday, and he called me at like 9.30 almost, and he's like panicking about it, and he's like comparing the situation and everything, and I'm just like, um, and then yeah, he just told me like, I, I was, I, you know what, I was just really afraid that I was gay. Again, <laughs> nothing wrong with being gay, but like he was just afraid that he would wake up one day and be like, oh, I'm gay, and then he'd already have like two kids and a wife. That was <laughs> his, um, 
And it yeah, it was funny. I'm glad your therapist laughed because it was absolutely hilarious. Um, so uh, yeah, I was telling my coworkers about that during the Korean barbecue. Um, because it was I mean, I laughed so hard. Did did that? Did that? Did my favorite one laugh? Um, they were worried. They were worried. They were like, "Wow!" So that means he doesn't. And then I'm like, "Nah, nah. He's just he's just he's just tripping. He's." Uh, well, I hope you. I hope we told him the second part. Yeah, yeah. So, but then they also had other questions about something else that you've done that I told them that you've done. So then, um, yeah. Ooh, ooh. Well, guess what? Uh, no, that's why I said I hope you tell me that I, that I still got hard at the time. Oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention. Next time I see them uh, next month, I'll, I'll be sure to tell them that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's very good stuff. Um. So that I just wanted to talk about that with Ethan. Um, other stuff really. Oh, Ethan, can you actually talk about the um powerful Santa Ana winds that are coming? Oh yes, the last weekend we had powerful Santa Ana winds that actually sparked a big fire. It's currently happening in Ventura County, uh, twenty five hundred acres, uh, and the winds gusted up to sixty miles per hour. In fact, I was at Six Flags yesterday, and it was blowing hard over there. It almost blew me over. <laughs> Uh, but, <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my god! See, I'm telling your coworkers about that, and then, <laughs> and then, um, but yeah. Luckily, those are not luckily. I like the wind, but those are now over. The fire is fifty percent contained, which is cool, and um, hopefully get some rain soon. It's winter time almost. But, uh, yeah, it should be a pretty nice week. In fact, let's take a look right now. Uh, yes, 60s and 70s, so not too bad. Not too bad coming up. And it looks like a lot of early mornings. Christian, you look very focused. He's, uh, working on his, uh, business plan right now, so that's also why I muted him, so that, uh, we don't hear the other stuff going on, in case you were wondering why I was so quiet. It's because, yeah, he's got that <laughs> echo. That's super oh, yeah, annoying. Got that echo. That yeah. so, uh, so I muted Christian. Once you're back and done with adjusting that, Christian, I will unmute you. So no offense, but the, the echo is mad annoying. It sounds like you're dealing with the Santa Ana winds. In pre- yeah. Like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, besides that, I had sake. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> I had sake on Friday. Um, it went. It was. It was smooth, but like it was. It burned a lot. It was disgusting. It was like akin to drinking Robitussin. Um, what What time drinking is this for you? How many times? Second. Second. You're an alcoholic. Right. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it for i mean we'll see we'll see i look i'm just trying to have a shot of everything just for the experience um so i've had soju and sake now um so we'll see what other things i try um moving on to the other current of week current event that i wanted to discuss um someone was sentenced to basically work at a chipotle for 90 days, they were given the choice whether they wanted to work at the Chipotle for 90 days and serve 30 days of jail or serve 120 days of jail, 120 days of jail, and they chose Chipotle. What happened was they went to a Chipotle themselves and they threw the bowl back at the uh, customer at the Chipotle worker and like really messed them up. And the messed up part about this story is that this person herself or themselves was a former food service industry veteran so it's like you know how food service is and you did that that's just incredibly messed up um but i will say i really love this form of punishment because i definitely do think it leads to legit change i personally believe if i was president one of the first things that i would do actually is i would force every single person of legal working age to work at least six months in retail or food service because I definitely think we would have a much nicer society if everyone had to work in those two industries just to understand what those poor people go through. Um, and it's one of those. Um, so I just wanted to see what y'all thought of the, the punishment. Would your, 
if you read the article, what did you guys think of the punishment? Did you think it was fair? Or did you think that a different punishment should have been given? Christian, go ahead. Uh, I think I've done my six months. Um, yeah, definitely, I've definitely done the six months. Um, it's, uh, uh, yeah, some of those jobs can be pretty, um, pretty annoying. Like, uh, like dishwashing, dishwashing is no fun for me. Um, I just smell for me. It just gets me. It's just like, I don't know. Um, and then because I had to do like, I was at a cafeteria, a big cafeteria. So it was just like thousands of plates coming in, holes and shit. Um, and, uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then and then doing inventory overnight, um, that was that was that was just terrible because it was like it was a workout, but it wasn't a fun workout. It was like it was just like um, just going like go as fast as you can, get as many of these barcodes as you can, and people were going pretty fast. It's like you know someone else goes fast, they push you to go fast, and it's like, oh uh, man, um, you know, like man, if you just went you just went twenty percent faster, you could get another dollar more per hour. I'm like, wow. So incredible, such an amazing opportunity. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely I know what it's like. Um, but um, yeah, I, I I don't know why you would throw food at somebody, um, especially if it's good food like Chipotle. Um, they were having a bad day and the bowl wasn't made correctly. Apparently, that's why they ended up throwing it. But it's just like yeah, I mean, look, I've had bad days myself too, but I've never you know resorted to something. Yeah, I like wouldn't that. do that on a bad day. Yeah, that's something that's something I would do. The bowl was made incorrectly. You know, but you know what? You know what takes me off is when they don't put a lot of meat in the bowl. They do like do like a half spoonful, a half a half spoonful, and it's like, oh my god, put more meat in there. And they they and, they, and then when you ask for when you ask for more more meat, they're like double double is extra. And I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> it's like no, I want I want the amount of meat that I'm deserved. Um, yeah. So that was Christian crazy, loves you know? his meat. Christian loves his meat. Oh yeah. Yeah. Steak he wants meat. Flabbing me. No, steak ain't flabby. Put your coworkers on here. Huh? Put your coworkers on here. My coworkers are down to join. Um, hopefully, when if we do all four of us end up moving in together, we can do a live podcast with all of them. Um, Especially my favorite. Okay. Uh, you like know what's ten wild? people. You know what's freaking wild, bro? My my one of my coworkers. She was like, "Oh yeah." Your friends are so tall. Do you feel like tiny and small when you hang out with them? I'm like, <laughs> do you just feel like, like, I forget what exactly, but she was just like, yeah, like you, you don't do like, What's that um, we'll, we'll leave it unnamed. But, um, it was just hilarious. And I'm like, I'm like, nah, cause I'm the leader of the group. And then they're like, oh, okay. And I'm like, I mean, it's true, but I guess I should have said I'm the mom of the group. I'm not necessarily the leader of the group. I'm the I'm definitely the mom of the group. I think Ethan's the dad of the group, but I'm definitely the mom. Call me daddy. Yeah. Without a doubt. Without a doubt in my mind. Christian, I feel like Christian's going to try to deny it, but again, you have no claim after that Universal Studio ticket fiasco. Um, <laughs> and then... Uh, and then I, I thought maybe someone got me for them. I was going to reimburse them. I don't know. And then, you know, with Jordan thinking that everything is akin to Japan, he also just, he, no, just, just no. All right. So, yeah, Eat is the dad. I'm the mom of the group. Um, but, yeah, th these coworkers are uh, people that Ethan met during my birthday party when you were uh, out of, yeah. I had no idea. Um, so, next up with the current events, we have... So wait, no, Ethan. What do you think, actually? Sorry, what do you think about the Chipotle thing? I think that they should have gotten the food thrown right back at them. A very serious eye for eye type of punishment. Mm -hmm. um, do you, you feel like the what up? You don't throw food on me. I throw right back at you. Uh, all right. It's a very dangerous. <laughs> um, we're gonna move on from that one. <laughs> Next up, we have a current event about <laughs> how Cheryl Lee Rouse. Um, Love him. She's the star of her. She's the star of her. <laughs> <laughs> elementary. I think she's the principal on that show, right? No, no, she's the teacher. 
Oh my bad. Okay. Oh, Venom and teacher. Um. The so absolutely hilarious though. <clears throat> she has not lived with her husband of almost twenty years until they are recently starting to move in together. So my question is why is because she's an actor out here and he's a professor at the University of Pennsylvania. So I think that's wild. I could not live I could not live apart from my wife for twenty years. I would now, granted, I, mean, I, I, I don't can't live apart from my girlfriend right now. Okay, I left her. I had a job off. I have six bags. I was, I was so sad. I was like, man, oh, I want you to sleep Boo hoo. Um, boo freaking <laughs> hoo. Um, you know, that's why I can't wait to be moving together because I hate dropping her off. But when she has to leave, I feel sad. Which also so, proves I'm not gay. Thank goodness. <laughs> not, I, I guess I have a, I'm the closest. To thinking along these lines because I only hung out with my uh with my ex one day a week for the past yeah, so years. That's almost long distance. Um, but that wasn't by choice at the same time because we legit live far away. We live far away. Yeah. Um, I would like to see my wife at least five days a week. Um. Yeah. Oh yes, that's right. Because the other two, you want to kick her out and. No, no, just one, just one. Just one, just one on Sunday. You Sundays are me. <laughs> you wanna boot her, he wants to boot her out of the house and tell her not to come back till a certain time, and she'll not be allowed in the house at a certain time. We went over this on a, a re a episode a few months ago. Yeah, and that was insane. <laughs> the house that she's oh, by the way, it's the house that she's paying for because Osana wants to retire and not have <laughs> income. So the house that. She's paying for it because she will have a, uh, she'll be the breadwinner. Uh, she can't stay in it for seven hours of a day. <laughs> wow, lazy ass boy Osanda here. Stay at home with the kids. Like, does that not? Kids, with the kids. How does that sound, uh, Christian? Uh, uh would you keep no your wife out of the house for a whole day? Few that day. How many days a week do you want to see your? Would you want to see your wife, Christian? All seven? I don't think it. I don't think it has to be by a day. I think it just has to be, um, uh, what? I couldn't put it. I couldn't put a number of days well, or hours on it. Have to Christian because the question is: Could you do long distance? Could you do long distance with with your wife? Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I could certainly try. I, I can't say, like, oh, would it work every time? I can say, yes, I would, I'd be willing to try it as long as, as long as it was still working. Oh, I'm um, sorry. I'm what? <laughs> it looked like you were already crying, thinking about long distance with your wife. <laughs> no, um, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I would certainly be able to tough it out, you know. Um, maybe she would. Well, Christian's too focused on his business plan. I know he's. I wouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, the 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 mic issue. You you definitely gonna have to get it. I don't know what's wrong with your mic. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> you might be. You might be right now, but the the stove's not on. It's basically what's going on right now. Like <laughs> something's wrong with your mic. But anyway. Um. Yeah, mm. you're right, Ethan. You know what? If I if, if let's say let's just say hypothetically, you know, she was the breadwinner, and I was at home with the kids. That seventh day, she would also have to take the kids somewhere too. So like that. Oh. That, was, <laughs> that, that day yeah, would just be for me. That yeah, day would just be for me. You day. That's right. Pick them all out. Yeah. Um, so you know. Like I said, like I said previously, uh, I was trying to see any of those divorce papers so fast. On his face. Yeah. <laughs> Andy, want, Andy want a prenup. She want a prenup. We want no. a prenup. We want a prenup. She's, she's making the money, but you want the prenup. Okay. <laughs> you, you heard yourself there, but whatever. No, not, not. It depends on the language of the prenup. What you mean? 
the prenup could state that I get half the money after we well, divorce. Oh about, yeah, like that's gonna happen. Tell your coworkers about this. I want to hear the reaction. Oh, they. I mean, they all disagree. Not that they disagree with me. Now they all kind of basically disagree with me. On the oh. on the seventh day of kicking the parent out. Or the oh, wife. that that I haven't really talked to them about. I'll I'll talk to that's them. What I'm talking about. I want you to tell them that. <laughs> all right, I'll tell them that during the Christmas party. See see what they think. Party. When I want to go to the Christmas party. You're, it's only for the people who work at the company. But, well, guess what? I need you to. I need you to invite me to the Korean barbecue. You would have come to the Korean barbecue. Well, of course. I All the way out people. in Garden Grove. We would have come, and then we would have gone to downtown Disney after over four. See, would have made it worth it. No, nah, no, nah, we'll see. We Ooh. might go laser tagging next month, so that. Oh, I love laser. Oh, I'll be there for that, sure. And I'll, my girlfriend loves it too. I'm gonna uh, show them. I'm, I'm gonna show them I'm not gay, so then I'll be worried. That, well, it's it's because I told them about how you. I don't know if I can share this. On. Oh yeah, I sucked the dong along, but that was way back in high school. Don't worry, guys. It was in high lot. school, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was not middle school. No, whoa! Well, n- 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 I don't think Christian thought that. I definitely did. Why did you college, my guy? It could have been college. <laughs> Why did you go to middle school? Well, we're, yeah, because I said way back. So college was like kind of recent. College was four years ago, four or five years ago for you. That's recent, way back in high school, was like ten years ago. Anyway, so, so about twenty fourteen, yes. 2013, 2014. Anyway, so they were they were just really questioning the fact, like, how do you, how do I know that he, he, you didn't enjoy it? And I'm like, well, I'm just saying what well, he told me that he didn't enjoy it. I don't, I mean, you know. So they, they were just going off. Just the dick. You're gonna have to elaborate. So I mean, like, did just it just the dick? Did it taste good? No, just the dick. It didn't taste like really anything. So why did you suck it? Well, because he wanted me to. <laughs> whoa, whoa, so you're a little submissive boy, huh? <laughs> little submissive. You know, I guess so. That's also, a little... Also, I liked mine being sucked, so uh, uh, I was like, it's the only way I had to return the thing. Hold on. Was this in a during a threesome with... No. So this is just you and another man. Yeah, he invited me. See all these out. details, Osanda. Do you yeah. really want to know all these details? <laughs> you you didn't like ask for pictures or something? My coworkers <laughs> were, were my coworkers were asking me. Yeah, they invited me into the house. So he just had to hang out, and all of a sudden he brought up all these sex tests. I'm like, what is this? And then oh well, then he, he said, pull he pulled down his pants. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> Wait, who was this? Who was this? You know, Do I know? Oh, so now, you, uh, now you're okay with names or something. <laughs> well, I didn't even say the last name. I mean, I, he could have just said the first name. <laughs> Still. <laughs> and the cool thing is, I mean, why I also, he promised me, because he had a lot of really hot, really hot girlfriends. So I, I he said, he said, oh, I was like, oh, a threesome. I said, if I'm saying a threesome, I'm like, yes, yes. We never brought the hot girlfriend. It's very sad. Dan, so do I know this person or no? Yeah, he's in our grade. He's a really rich guy. Daniel? He lives in a, he lives in a big mansion, has a, 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 a Lamborghini. I'm going to need you to send me his. I know it sounds like I want to do this, y'all, but that's not why I'm, <laughs> I'm just very... Very curious about all of this. The the the. I mean, the fact that you agreed so willingly is very sus. You understand that? Like nothing wrong with it, but like that's bisexual level almost. This is a dick. Anyway, moving on. Um, other current events to discuss. Oh, the Lakers won the in season tournament. And I know before Christian go, oh my god, it's sports, sports, sports. The fact (laughs) is, I'm talking about this because two reasons. Number one, this was an absolute masterclass 
by a master orchestrator in LeBron James. This mm-hmm. man is so calculated with everything that he does. He wants to own a team in Vegas. So mm. the fact that he won this first in-season tournament in Vegas is literally him just planting those seeds. And it's just amazing to see because uh, LeBron is literally working on the scale of billions of dollars, basically. It, he's probably one of the first athletes to do this, to just orchestrate an empire. Um, and it's very, it's just amazing to see from a strategic perspective of how successful he is with this stuff. Because I've seen a lot of examples of this on like a millionaire perspective. I myself want to orchestrate that on a millionaire perspective. But I know that I don't have what it takes to accomplish that on a billion dollar perspective. Um, so I just want to give him a shout out because, you know, he's obviously going to watch this tomorrow. Um, I don't, I want to give him a shout out to just the, the billion dollar like perspective of it. Like at some point you got to compare him to like some of the best strategics in the world, like the war strategists that we all, you know, everyone like just glamorizes and everything like that. At some point, the fact that this dude came from literally nothing to make this is insane. Um, I yeah. agree. And then the other thing is, they uh, the Lakers were going on and on about how it's very cool to be the first to do something. Because records are meant to be broken. But you will never change the fact that you were the first to do something. So I had a question for you two, which is, do you guys feel that there is something that you want to be the first to do? Christian, because you are have been silent for a little bit. Be the first to go to Mars. Um, it's quite the ambitious goal. First to step um, foot on Mars or the first to go to Mars? Either or. Okay. I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't, you wouldn't go alone, so you always go with people. But you could so be the first. Just, yeah, just being on just being on the first mission would be enough. All right. That's um, but that's it. I said for a while I wanted to. Now I don't know that I I need to. I think if I got the opportunity, I'd be more than happy to do it. See, well, I mean, the thing is, the thing is, me up, Christian. Literally two months ago, I was talking to you about you moving in with us to California, and you're like, I don't want to do it. Now your perspective has fully changed. Yeah. You literally were so closed off to the idea before. Well, yeah. So it's just very interesting because my question is, what's there to stop you from turning around and like not wanting to do that anymore? Like wanting a different idea. Are you really that committed to social central? I'm very committed. Um... Uh, I don't know how to. I don't know how to prove it other than all the work we've put in put in so far. But why um, have you changed your mind on Mars? Is it because of Social Central or just other things? I didn't. I, I've been changing my mind on Mars like since I was thirteen. Like I, I, I like when I want to go, why I want to go. Because like, because you think about it, like I'm gonna have like, ideally I have a like a family, you know, at some point in the early thirties and. Um, um, right. To go to Mars and potentially dying along the way or while I'm there or while I'm coming back is uh, annoying, to say the least. So, like, I don't want to have to die while they're still wanting to be around me. And um, so that would be the thing that holding me back. Um, and so, like, right now, I don't know. Like, what I, what I was just saying is not actually different from what I said before. All I said was I'd still be willing to go, but I'm not. Um, I'm, I'm okay with not going. Um First, at least, I, I think I want to go no matter what. Uh, that's still not going to change. But now, I like since since earlier this year, maybe last year, I said I, I'd probably want to go when I'm like 55 or 60 after all the kids are graduate. Like they're all graduated from high school. They're 18. Um, uh, that mean that would mean that I'd have like you know even if I if I died and it, it would still suck. But at least they could like you know they had me as a as, as a parent. And, um, then I'd go with my wife too. Um, so we'd be that way, we you know, have each other. And if she didn't want to go, then okay, fine. But 
at that point even. And then I'm um, 62, so like I could just go by myself and come back in five years. Yeah, um, so you just want your kids to be orphaned then, basically, if you're going to bring them back <laughs> along with you too. Ideally, I don't die. Ideally, I don't die. And by, and by, and here's the thing. The other thing is like, it's a lot less risky when I'm going at like 58 years old versus, you know, 30. 35. Yeah. Because everything's a lot more developed. So. True. Yeah. So we'll see. What about you, Ethan? Do you want to be the first to do anything? Oh, it depends on what. But I just have a thought, you know. A lot more people, uh, you know, they don't admit it, but I'm telling you, a lot more action goes on behind the scenes than we may know. You know, girl on girl action, guy on guy. <laughs> I knew I'm you were still on this topic. I knew you were still on this topic. <laughs> I'm telling you, you'd be surprised what happens uh, with uh, uh, all these people around the world. I, I mean, who knows what happens in the Lakers locker room? You know? like, and like that report where Will Smith got fucked in the ass by that dude uh, that he's denying. Oh, crazy. Right? crazy. It's all Again, uh, okay, look, look, Ethan. You're right. Unfortunately, the way society is, is that if men kiss men, it's gay. But oh, if women kiss kind of, Oh, no, that's not true. That's if, if women kiss women, it's that's not gay. Not. It's I them experimenting. Um, now, the issue is the fact that, Ethan, you suck this dude's dick. I'm telling you. I'm <laughs> telling you. I can't hear any of you. We, we weren't talking. How were you going to hear us? Oh, so, oh, you're frozen. <laughs> oh, so... Again, there's nothing wrong with the fact that you sucked it, but I just have so many questions off air about this. Um, oh, my, my, okay, come on, it's a little thing. It, it's just the fact that you were submissive enough in that moment. He told you, he pulled down his pants and he told you to do it, and you just did it. You didn't even like question it. That's the part. That's. Also, I mean, it's just the dick was wrong with it. A lot of. I mean, yeah. A lot of things are wrong with the dick. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I think it's just the dick. I'm I'm gonna have I'll talk to my coworkers about this at Christmas. Uh, oh yes. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so do you? Is there anything that you would like to be the first? I want to talk about the dick. <laughs> I have sucked a silicone dick before, and it. It was not the bee's knees. Um, I did not enjoy it at all. I do still want to get pegged, though, by a woman. Um, See, I don't want to get pegged by anybody. My co-workers were saying that was sus, but I would much rather... First off, I would much rather get fucked in the ass by a dude than suck his dick. I don't know. Oh, like, that I just, sounds like getting fucked in the ass by anything sounds hurtful. If I would, you know, I would make sure my ass is warmed up. Obviously, I make sure it's warmed up before all that. Um, but I, I just don't want, I don't want to suck a dick. That, that's why I don't even like the threesome factor. What is this? What is this? Oh, yeah. So, Chris, I'm I hate to break it to you, bro, but we've embraced the silliness here around at the, the Bouncing Potatoes. I'm actually surprised you kept quiet for so long. That was actually kind of surprising. Yeah. Anyway, that was the Bouncing Potatoes podcast. I was no Sonda. That guy was Ethan. Now look, we're gonna have a strict discussion on that gay, was bisexual, lesbian, all these terms. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have a strict discussion on this on next week's podcast. Stay tuned, it's a big one. That was that was Christian and the quote for this week's podcast is comparison is the thief of joy.